and welcome to this week's Household Huddle. Before we start this week's Household Huddle, I want to say thank you to all of our friends that shared pictures of their sheep activities from last week. job everyone. Okay, now before we jump into this week's story, let's take a minute to remember the four steps in a household huddle. Do you remember what they are? Breathe, share, reflect, and thank. Okay, so where do we begin? That's right, we breathe. So let's take a deep breath together. Okay, and what do we do after we breathe? That's right, we share. Now, you might want to pause the video for just a minute to share a joy and a concern with your household huddle because we're going to jump right into the story. Actually, there's one more step we need to take because during the season of Lent, we're looking through the lens of love to see where we might see love in our stories. So, it's time to put on our special glasses. Don't worry if you don't have special glasses because an imaginary pair will work just as well. Awesome. I wonder, do you like to eat grapes? Or maybe do you have grape jelly with your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Yum. Well, do you know where grapes come from? Now, maybe they come from your kitchen counter or your refrigerator, but before they get to your kitchen, they come from the grocery store. And before the grocery store, they come from a place called a vineyard. A vineyard is a fancy word for a place where grapes grow. If you look at the word, it's spelled vine yard and it's called a vineyard because grapes don't grow on trees like apples or on bushes like blueberries or even in the ground like potatoes but grapes grow on vines and a vine is a big long stem that grows and climbs and likes to twist around other things. And out of the vine, there are branches that grow. And on the branches, there are leaves and sometimes flowers and sometimes fruit, like yummy grapes. But the branches can't grow without the strength of the vine because the branches get their water, their food, and their energy from the vine. But the vine needs the branches too, because without the branches, the vine would have no fruit. Now you might be wondering why we're talking so much about grapes and vines today. And that's because Jesus talked a lot about grapes and vines. In today's story, Jesus says something that sounds a little bit silly. But if we think about it, it makes sense. So let's see. Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. See, I told you it sounds a little bit silly, but let's keep going. I am the vine and you are the branches. Like the branches on a vine, as long as you stay connected to me, you will do amazing things. You love God 
When you stay connected to me, and that helps you to bear much fruit. Okay, so we took our breath and we shared. What comes next? Yes, it's time to reflect. Now when we reflect, we think about the story. So maybe you want to talk to your huddle about a few things. What kinds of things are you connected to? What do you think it means to be connected to Jesus like a branch on a vine? When you love God and stay connected to Jesus, what kind of fruit do you bear and what kind of amazing things can you do? Great job, everyone. Okay, if you want to do an activity with your household huddle, Maybe you can play the dot game, like our friends Kaylee, Corey, Sophie, and Olivia. All you need is a piece of paper with a few rows of dots drawn in it and something to write with. Each player takes a turn connecting one dot to another dot, horizontally or vertically, but not diagonally. Only one person draws a line at a time, and after a while, the page will begin to be filled with all kinds of horizontal and vertical lines, some connected and some not. When a person draws a line that forms a square, that person gets to color that square or put their initials in it. The person who drew the closing line on the square gets another turn. Keep playing until all the dots become boxes. The person with the most boxes completed at the end is the winner. But no matter who wins, have fun connecting the dots, remembering how important it is for the vine and the branches to stay connected. Great job, girls. Okay, and what's the last step in a household huddle? That's right, thank. And this week, I'd like to thank all the vineyard workers that grow grapes and package them to be shipped. I'd also like to thank the truck drivers that bring them to our grocery stores and our produce professionals that make them available for us to buy. And finally, I'd like to thank all of the moms and dads out there who buy fresh vegetables and fruits for their families to eat. Thank you to all of you for joining us today. I hope you enjoy your household huddles this week. And remember, Household huddle can happen anytime and anywhere, so just be creative. But no matter where you are or what you're doing, remember that you are amazing. And don't ever forget that God loves you just the way you are, and so do I. If you'd like to share a picture of your dot game to be part of next week's household huddle video, 
You can email them to Pastor Kelly at oldtownucc.org.